Hi everyone. How are you all? So I hope you are enjoying at home and all of you are healthy. So in our today's class I am going to deliver a lecture for class 6th of chapter 1st. Let's start. Our chapter is about a hero. Name of the chapter is a hero. Let's begin. Look at the picture given below of a drowning boy and how his friend saves him. What do you think about the boy who saved his friend? Do you think he risked his life to save his world? As in this picture, you can see that a boy, a small boy is drowning and other boy was pulling outside of the river or pond, okay, no? the other boy and saving his life. So then narrator is asking us that what do you think about the boy? who saved his life what do you think about the boy who saved his life the other boy who is drowning do you think he is he risks his life to save his friend yes he risks his life to save his friend's life okay have you ever done something special to help other person who was in trouble so students have you ever help any other people's if yes that's good narrate the incident if you have helped them tell us how you helped them how you helped them and describe the situation you are in which situation that time your response how you respond to the problem and what you learned about yourself from the experience after helping other what do you feel what experience do you feel you have to you have to mention that challenge of any kind make us stronger and courageous when we face the challenge it means when we face challenge so it make us stronger and courageous they bring out the best in us when we face the difficulties then it make us perfect it uh, took out the best things out of us in time of emergencies we are selfless and charitable and in time of fear we act heroically in time of emergencies when we face the emergencies when we are in emergencies we are selfless and charitable then we just become charitable and uh, in time of fear when we have fears we act heroically then we uh, act very bravely okay now the reading and comfort season let's read okay let's start the chapter act of bravery are a reflection of how courageous an individual is and not how strong a muscular a person is read the story of Swaminathan and his courage this story is about a boy uh, whose name is Swaminathan okay now so what he do what he does in this story let's read for Swami events took an unaccepted turn. Father looked over the newspaper. Uh, he was reading under the hall lamp and said, Swami, listen to this news. It is about the it is about the bravery of a village lad who was returning home by the jungle path came face to face with a tiger. The paragraph described the fight the boy had with the tiger and his fight up the and flight and his flight up a tree where he stayed for half a day till some people came that way and killed the tiger. Uh, Swami's father told uh, her son when he was reading newspaper that uh, in today's newspaper there is a news about a boy's bravery act uh, he was when he was returning to home from the jungle path he faced to face a tiger okay na? and uh, he just uh, fight with the tiger or climb upon a tree to save his life and uh, stay there for half a day okay na? and uh, wait till the other people come from that way and kill the tiger that is the that is the bravery of the boy <clears throat> after reading this father looked at Swami and asked what do you say to that after reading this paragraph after the, reading this news the father asked to Swami that what do you think now that the boy was that how boy how brave the boy was and all the things Swami said, I think he must have been a very strong and grown up person, not at all a boy. How could a boy fight a tiger? Swami questioned his father that how can a tiger, a, a boy fight a tiger? It's not possible. He must be not a boy. He, he must not be a boy. He must be a grown up person. You think you are wiser than the newspaper? Father's need. A man may have the strength of an elephant yeah, and yet be a coward. Um, whereas another way have the strength of a star but he has a cords. He can do anything. Cords is everything. Strength and eyes are not important. The father said that uh, you think you are wiser than newspaper when uh, the when the boy excuse, when the Swami Nathan, when the Swami excuses on the news, then father said that you are not uh, you are not more wise than newspaper okay now then he said that a man may have the power of an elephant it's possible that a man have a power of elephant but still he can become a coward and if a man have a power of his strong only that therefore he may become a very brave person it's possible why because course is everything what matters is course it doesn't matter that how what is your age and what uh, 
how much strength you have it doesn't matter what matters is your cores okay swami dis swami dispute this story how can it be further suppose i have all this i have all the cores what can i do if a tiger should attack me the uh, boy kishan is father he said that uh, suppose i have cores okay well, father i have cores then how what i will do if uh, i have to face the tiger then uh, father said leave alone strength can you prove that you have cores let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room father challenges uh, son that if you have cores then first prove it then i will tell you okay na all the things but first you have to prove that you have cores let's do a thing let's uh, today today night you have to sleep in my office room and go alone a frightful proposition so me thought preposition uh, prepos a frightful proposition so me thought he always slept beside his granny and any change in this arrangement kept him traveling and uh, awake all night the boy was addicted the boy was uh, always uh, used to sleep in, near his granny and when there is any changement in this uh, arrangement it uh, make her awake all night he just trembling he just have um, he just have fear uh, sleeping alone he hoped at first that his father was uh, only joking he moment vaguely yes he thought he think he thought that his father was just joking with her with him okay na so he said yes okay i will sleep and try to change the topic and uh, he try to change the subject he said we are buying new bats and balls for cricket and elders will also be admitted in our cricket club our captain has asked me to tell you he tried to change the topic he said to his father that we have bought new balls and bats for our cricket club and our captain has permitted us to uh, to admit the elders also in our team the father said we will see about that later father said you must sleep alone here after the father said that uh, it i will look this matter later but first you have to sleep tonight in office room alone swami realized swami realized swami felt that the matter has gone beyond his control from a challenge it had become a plain command first it was a challenge only that he can accept or not but now it had become a command of his father and he have to follow that from the first of next month i will sleep alone father then he said to his father that father not from to, to not from tonight but from the first of the next month i will start sleeping in the in the office room alone now you must do it now it is disgraceful sleeping beside granny or mother like a baby you are in second form and i don't uh, at all like the way you are being brought up he said and looked at his wife who was rocking the cradle now the father said that now from today you have to sleep he said that i don't like is the way you are being brought up you are being brought up like a very small baby but it's not fair you are now grown up you are in the second okay now you are in the second age so now you have to sleep alone you have you must have cords okay and uh, saying that he looked at the swami's mother <clears throat> who was rocking the cradle why do you look at me while you say it he see she asked if you mean that your mother is spoiling him tell her so and don't look at me she said and turned away his wife said swami's mother okay now he said that don't look at me when the father look at the mother then the mother said then don't look at me if you mean that your mother is spoiling then don't look at me just tell to your mother i am not doing anything that can spoil your son swami's mother said gloomily gazing Swami's father sat gloomily gazing at the newspaper on his lap. Swami rose silently and tiptoed away to his bed in the passage. Granny was sitting up in bed and remarked, "Are you feeling sleepy already? Don't you want a don't you want to hear a story?" Swami's father sat gloomily gazing at the newspaper on his lap. Swami's father became disappointed uh, to his mother's word and uh, to his wife's word, sorry. And uh, he just uh, again took the newspaper and started reading it. and if we talk about swami swami is get up from there and slowly he went to his granny's room her granny's room his granny's room sorry are you feeling sleepy when he goes his uh, uh, grandmother ask him his granny asked her him that today don't you want the story today you are feeling very very sleepy swami made with a guess collection to silence granny but that good lady saw nothing so swami threw himself on his bed and pulled the blanket over his face swami made his guest section swami tried to 
signed to her uh, granny to be silent but uh, the granny did not uh, pay attention to his sign and he said she said sorry so uh, swami jo hai swami just sleep and uh, cover his face with the blanket now swami made uh, sorry presently father came and stood over him swami get up he said he looked like an apparition in the swami's darkness of the passages swami stirred and groaned as if in the sleep father said get up swami now the father had come to the granny's room and he is trying to awake the uh, awake the swami and swami was um, swami was acting like he is sleeping but he is not sleeping at all uh, swami's father second time said that get up swami okay and uh, for today from next class from in our next lecture we will complete the lesson thank you